they are going to do it. They're going to have to do it with someone who's been the life of the party for them. And that is Bukayo Saka. There is no Bukayo Saka in this game today. What? No Bukayo Saka. Not in the squad? Game. Wait, no. what? No, no Bukayo no. Saka for What's Arsenal today. Injured? Saka's not in the 11. No. Not. He won't mm. be featuring today. <laughs> so if they are going to do this, they're going to have to do it without Starboy himself. They've got enough, though. They've got enough, though. You you know, yeah, Martinelli's coming in. We're not talking about, you know, a, a player that hasn't got high standards. Martinelli, Martinelli, Trossard, Havertz, your front three, Odegaard behind, Declan Rice. They've got more than enough there to replace Saka. But, I mean, you guys will play the game. How, how much of a big thing is it when one of the people that you look to, your goal to, one of your commanders in the field... He's not there for such a big game. Because this is the biggest game of the season for them. Of course. If they control their controllables, they're halfway there. 100%. But I do feel that when you're a team like Arsenal, Man City, you know, Liverpool, you have to have a squad of players. Mm. You know, you can't just rely on, like, Saka. Saka's injured, OK? Martinelli, you know, you've been coming on as a sub. You step up. You, you show that next season you want to be playing more because he's been frustrated, Martinelli. You know, they've got the quality on the bench as well. Other players to come on. Smith Rowe, Vieira... So they've got the, the, the high quality there against an Everton side that should be there today for the taking. Let's go into the lineup. Of course, we've got David Ryan in goal. Wow. Saliba, who's been imperious at the back. We've, had, we've got to have a conversation here. Ben White, Thomas Partey, Gabriel, Captain Odegaard, Martinelli's in the side, Tomiyasu, Trossard, Kai Havertz and Declan Rice. So big game for Martinelli. He's been used sparingly off the, off the bench in this sort of defensive dogged role, which a lot of people are saying is probably not what they go to him for, but... Today, we're going to need goals, aren't we, Jermaine? Uh, well, listen, it's uh, not a bad replacement, is it? Putting on Martinelli. We've, we've seen what he's done in an Arsenal shirt throughout the years. Um, contribute with the goals, assists, his, his attacking pace. is a, a formidable player. So, this is nothing new for him. And the only reason why he's probably not in the starting a, a lineup a lot more is because Trussard has came in and done absolutely amazing. He's in fine form, scoring goals getting winners, and, and, and that's what Arsenal pointed for. He was like the super sub, and now he said, no, 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 I want to be starting. And when he starts, he scores, and you, you can't take someone out on that, on that form. Uh, so, Marte, he will know what the jobs at hand he's got to do. Um, but, again, a, a fantastic player to bring in. So, the squad were thinking, OK, Saka's out, not great, but you just get on with it. You know that the next man, the next man coming in, He's just going to be as good. So, look, like, like, like Gabby said, it's Everton. They should be beating them no matter what kind of style they have in the brief. Cam, your face at this second is... You've been <laughs> in shock for about two minutes now. What's going through your head? Then? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You know, I feel like I, I was online... I was seeing so many scripts being written that, you know, Bukayo Saka, Haylen boy is going to bring it home for Arsenal, potentially, if anything happens. And you're looking at Arsenal, like, that feels like the connection between the fans... And the, and the players on the pitch, you know, it's Bukayo Saka. That's who they, that represents them. So for him not to be here in the final game of the, of the season, which is so much on the line, I'm just in complete shock. You know, I'm in complete shock. Like, if I'm Everton and I'm looking at the lineup and Saka's not there, I feel a little bit more, more buoyed. And if I'm the fans, yeah, I know Harry was saying it's a, a party atmosphere and jerk chicken's all about, but <laughs> now I'm going to be like, hold on a second, you know what I mean? It's lunchtime for Everton. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it might be barbecue chicken for them. So, uh, I don't know. I'm very... I'm just very shocked. That I would love to know what the actual injury is because he looked fine in the last game. He didn't, he didn't look injured or anything. Maybe something happened in training. Maybe it's an illness. Do you know what I mean? But I'm completely shocked. I think you're not bringing on a young lad who's inexperienced. You're bringing on Martinelli, mm. who's... Yeah, bro, Martin, in, Do you know what I mean? Brazilian. It's Martinelli yeah. you're bringing on who's a quality <laughs> player, you know? Of course, we're well, speaking about Everton... They might be up for this game now, but let's go into their lineups. So of course, Pickford and Goal, who's you know second most clean sheets in in, in the league this year. Tavkowski at the back, Mc, McNeil, Anana, Calvert Lewin, who's got four in his last six, I believe. Ashley mm. Young, Coleman, Idris Gay, Brantway, who for me should have been in the first shout for Player of the Year. He wasn't even nominated, and James Garner. Standard lineup for them, but Sean Dash, eight points deducted, did what they need to do, safe. This is an Everton team that will be looking to potentially cause a little disturbance. Yeah, and I've got four wins in their last five as well, so they're a team in good form at the moment it's a as bit well. of motion so there, right? Yeah. I always think Sean Dyche as well, he doesn't like to take things, you know, lightly. So serious I'm looking man. at him, yeah. Serious Real gaffer for man. serious moments. And he, he'll, he'll relish this kind of party pooper role, I, I think. So if he can kind of inflict some damage on Arsenal's hopes today, I think he, he'll look at that. And especially, as you said, seeing no Saka in the lineup and seeing a potentially Martinelli who 
hasn't seen many minutes this season. And when he has, he hasn't really been at the level that he was last year. Some of those guys will be licking their lips. Seamus Coleman, I'm sure, will be given... Uh, I don't know about that. I don't, about, I don't know if Coleman is going to look at Martellini and go... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it. This, is, like, this, could, this could be his final game for Everton, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, I think it is, Why yeah. not leave out on that type of performance <laughs> with a vengeance? Like, Come here, young buck. Let, <laughs> me teach, let me teach you about the Premier League old school ways. <laughs> <laughs> Coleman's asking for help. I'm telling you. Coleman's asking for help. I do Listen. think people are overlooking Everton a little bit, though, at the Definitely. same time. Because I think... West Ham probably have a bit more have more quality on the pitch than than Everton, but Everton have been in the last as you mentioned. If you look at the last ten games, I think Everton are in the top five, top six in terms of form. West Ham are like in thirteenth, fourteenth. So yeah, the table may look like West Ham are having the better season, which they are. But Everton, really and truly, without the deductions, they'll be joint tenth. You know, they'll be a joint tenth place team at the moment. So I it's think Everton, you know, right? the, the, the defensive record as you mentioned, they've been solid. So. I mean, if there is going to be an upset, I think there's probably more chance of it being at the Emirates than it is at, yeah. the, at the Etihad, to be honest. Well, I mean, yeah. Seamus Coleman's been offered a, a one-year extension. He hasn't accepted yet. What way to, to celebrate that than galvanising the boys to a, yeah. to a historic <laughs> win against Arsenal? You I mean, the record... Though? Seamus Coleman's been outstanding, but the age he's at now, you know, mm. he's lost a yard as well. Mm. You don't want to be playing against Martinelli. No. Do you know what I mean? Martinelli's one of the quickest in the Premier League. You don't want that problem. Ask the young as well on the other side. Could be playing against Trossard or Martinelli, whichever mm. side Ash Young and Coleman play. So, yes, Saka's out injured, but Martinelli, let's not forget, this guy's a menace. When he's at it, with that speed, he can finish as well. And he'll want to finish the season off mm. with um, hopefully a league title.